This video was brought to you by Patreon. Help support future ES repair videos by becoming a patron for as little as $1 per month. As a premium member, you'll get the latest news, special offers, questions and answers, recognition and videos, early access to new videos, channel recognition, behind the scenes, and more. Show your support by joining ES Repair on Patreon today. Hello, I am your host, Mr. Fixit, from ES Repair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a recovery drive. Now, this drive is um, will be handy, so in the event that you're having trouble getting Windows to boot up, you can use this recovery drive to allow you to fix common issues and restore your Windows, Windows operating system. Now, this process will work for Windows 8 and Windows 10. Uh, if you're needing to create a uh, recovery drive or a a bootable disk in Windows 7 I do have a video for that Windows 7 in the video description down below now the tool will come in handy uh, my previous video that I did showed you how to use system file checker and deployment image ser servicing and management tools to fix problems with Windows well this one uh, is a step above it because this will allow you to be able to boot your computer in the event your computer cannot boot up Windows. Then this way you can try to refix those problems with the recovery drive. Now to do this you're going to need a, a minimum of a 16 gigabyte flash memory card or you're going to need an external hard drive. Now it's a very simple tool. Uh, what you'll do is in Windows 10, uh, if you look to, over here, you'll see where you see Cortana, and you'll be able to type in the bottom here. Uh, if you're in Windows 8, um, you can swipe from the right or press the Windows key and the letter C key, C as in Charlie, to get the charms bar and then click search and then type in create a recovery drive. So as you can see here, I'm going to type it in. And you'll see that the application popped up. So you want to go ahead and click on it to open it. You're going to get a message asking you if you want to allow the program to make changes to your computer. It's going to be called the Re Recovery Media Creator. You want to choose yes. And this is going to be the window that's going to pop up. Now you want to make sure this right here where it says backup system files to the recovery drive is checked. And what this will do is your computer contains an automatic backup of the Windows system files, as I mentioned earlier. This will allow it to create a second backup to an external device. So if something goes wrong, you can't boot up Windows, you can still do the recovery of Windows through the recovery drive. So you want to make sure this is checked. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and choose Next. After a few minutes that the computer prepares for the uh, recovery drive, you're going to come to this screen. And it's going to ask you to select a USB flash drive. Now it must be able to hold 16 gigabytes as I mentioned earlier. And everything on the drive will be deleted. So you want to make sure there's nothing on that USB flash drive that you need to keep before you, perf you perform this action. Once it's done, you're going to see these available drives. And this right here is my recovery. This is an SD card, a 16 gigabyte SD card, which I'm going to use for this demonstration. Now, if you have more than one, whether it's an external drive or a flash memory drive, it will show up on here as long as it has a minimum of 16 gigabytes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and choose next. Now you will see this warning that says everything on the drive will be deleted. If you want uh, to continue, go ahead and choose create. After about 20 to 30 minutes, you'll come to this screen to show that everything is ready. Once it's completed, you just click finish. Now let me go ahead and show you how this works when you do the recovery drive. 
Now when you first turn your computer on, you're going to see a screen similar to this. It's going to have the manufacturer's logo on it, and you'll probably see some kind of a message in the lower left or on the bottom of the part of the screen that's going to give you some options. Uh, for instance, this here says I need to press the F8 key in order to get to the boot menu. Now if you look on the right, you're going to see some other keys that are used by different manufacturers to get into the uh, boot menu. Now a lot of the newer computers that have Windows 8 and Windows 10 on them, they came out with uh, the UEFI uh, type BIOS. And they don't often use these uh, F keys. But you should be able to have the computer automatically detect which boot device in case Windows fails. Now, I will show you a video on how to do the EFIs so you can uh, be able to change your boot device. Now, once the, uh, you get to the boot menu, uh, you should see a screen something like this. And what this will do is allow you to choose which boot device you want to use. Now, as you can see here, I have a CD-ROM, a SATA, and a USB generic. Now, the one I want is the USB generic, which I do have highlighted. This will allow me to choose which device I want. Now, once you select that, then the recovery drive is going to start booting up into the recovery mode. Once the recovery drive uh, loads up, you're going to come to this screen, which is going to ask you to choose your keyboard layout. And you just select the keyboard layout that you need. Uh, you will come to this screen. Uh, this is your choosing option. You probably are familiar with it if you've watch my video showing you how to go into safe mode you'll see a similar uh, screen like this and what this will do is allow you to do some repairs and what you want to do uh, you can use your mouse as you see here and it is choose troubleshoot now here you can choose recover from a drive uh, this allows you to reinstall Windows from the recovery drive connected to the PC which is a drive that you just created now it will remove all your files and apps so you want to make sure that you do the uh, you try to move your data off of there I do have videos that show you how to recover your uh, data from your computer which was the uh, the meaning tool video uh, I do show you how to do that and I will put a link on the video here to show you how to get to that if you're interested uh, you can also go to advanced options uh, here you can do a system restore using a restore point uh, on your computer. Uh, you can also use a go back to a previous version. And what this does is it, if your computer recently did an update, which from what I heard, uh, the next update coming out this fall is having some problems. Well, the recovery drive will allow you to revert back to the Windows 10 before this update came out. You also have the system image recovery. Uh, this will allow you to uh, restore the system using an image. You can also go up here to start up repair. Uh, this will fix any kind of problems that you are having with Windows 10 when it boots up. Uh, the command prompt comes in handy because this allows you to use commands such as system file checker and deployment image servicing and management tool uh, that I introduced you in a previous video. So as you can see this will come in handy uh, if you do have problems uh, with Windows 10 or Windows 8 uh, the recovery drive will help you be able to restore those functionalities and get Windows back up and running. Well I am your host Mr. Fixit Thank you for watching.